The two are in Birmingham and on their way to one of Nat's first cases as lead inspector. Do you want to just read what the job says? Yeah, so it says, cooler is at location. I can see plastic traps which look homemade with pigeons inside. Having just passed her wildlife exams with flying colors, the mystery of two birds found ensnared on a building site should prove the perfect case for Nat. When the contractor first came across these boxes at the top of this eight-story building, there were two pigeons trapped inside. Were they both in there? They were both in there, yeah. And then, so, when you lifted it, did the other one just sort of scarf over Yeah. Scarf, yeah. One of the birds has escaped. Hello, sweetie. Oh, oh. And given half a chance... Look at that. Where'd you go? The other pigeon wouldn't mind escaping, too. Yes, yeah, so that's not normal. The pigeons got blue tape on their wings here, which just isn't normal. <laughs> um, we think it's trying to, like, limit the bird's flight, but it's definitely not, like, a conventional method. Further investigation reveals a security guard is claiming ownership of the birds, but he's given no reason as to why they've been taped up. It was a contract manager rang the security firm. They've asked one of the security guards, and he said, yeah, they're my pigeons. So they're his pigeons? Well, he's saying that they're his pigeons. OK. Yeah. There's little areas of bread scattered around the job. What, as if he's trying to catch more? I don't know, yeah. Yeah, I mean, really, I feel like we need to speak to yeah. this owner. Yeah. Hello. Oh, hi there. Um, this is just Inspector Kitchen calling from the RSPCA. Yeah, RSPCA, you want something? I'm just calling in regards to a couple of birds. People seem to be under the impression that they belong to yourself. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This these are, these are mine. Um, do you think you'd be able to pop down and meet us? Because we just want to have a chat about the way they've been kept. Do you think you'd be able to do that for me? People skills are key in the role of an inspector, really. I think it's the number one thing listed on the uh, job description. I keep two pigeons. I know what to do. Yeah, so I, in... I understand... My whole life, I keep the pigeons, you know? I understand that you've been keeping pigeons your whole life. I can be quite persuasive if I want to be. Really, we do need you to come down so we can have a chat with you, and otherwise I've, I think we're going to have to get the police out and have them help us. It's just much easier for everyone if you just come down yourself. OK, take, I take one hour. Yep, OK, okay lovely. We'll wait here. OK. OK, all right, thank you very much. Take easy. I didn't kill someone. But it is an offence to take a wild bird. Um, under the Wildlife and Countryside Act. How long ago was it that you took the birds? This is, uh, I think, three days. Three days, yeah. OK. I keep this for one week until they know this area. And after one week, I free them. And they fly and come back. I love animals. I love pigeons. Mm -hmm. That's it. I think it could just be a case of it's the different rules and legislation different from how yes, it is in Iran. Said, take easy. So... I didn't know I can get a pigeon under. Putting it down to a cultural misunderstanding, Nat decides all this pigeon fancier needs is a warning. We really do appreciate you coming down, like, and for your cooperation and for helping us, so it does mean a lot that you have helped, so thank you very much. I'm not clear. <laughs> no. No, we understand no. that. <laughs> I'm not saying you are. It's a result for the birds, and also Nat, who has impressed her tutor.